And there are certain strategies. See big pictures, plan framework, break it down in smaller pieces, fit the schedule into, if you can, 90 days or quarter D. Um, Pat ups, measure, identify people and partners you want to work with or you want to collaborate with, actualize, and go beyond. And then go into policies, practices, traditions, way of life, and documents. All I is deep technology. All I has 1,000 ways to be innovative, like offering tiles as a gift. In one site, Polite gives instant aesthetics that you cannot get from any traditional material. And have decided you can design a future out of technology. And you could write everything that you have accomplished and see that it's about transforming and engaging. You have the talent, your skills, the degrees, the certificates, the licenses, person who gives you ideas, your products, your actual model, your company, or the company you're working with, or your startup company. You can uh, even be a, an entrepreneur within your employment, the Baima intra entrepreneurs. You can have partners, investors, models, projects, etc. Just write them down. Just write them down so that you know you're transcending. From, from scary things, just write them down. There's nothing wrong. If you if you don't attain it, at least you have a sense of direction and you're you're clear at what you want to do. God teach events in our lives until the whole art is done. You are an art. God will set the proper timing for each life's milestone and each milestone are connected to each other. It's like an orchestrated occurrences of opportunities. One link to the other, one causes the other. Or some ways will say the stars were aligned for each and every one of us. And no other way to be um, competitive but through innovation. Be sure that whatever technology you're working on, have impacts. Take note of the social impact. Take note how it will help poverty. Take note of economic impact. How are you better than your last self? And of course, environmental impact. If you're into innovation, you can actually accumulate intangible assets in the form of intellectual property, Patents, utility model, trade secret, youth, um, trademark, etc. No, if you're thinking of any ideation that is new, inventive, original, non-obvious, you have an intellectual property attached to it. At least, no, it's a intellectual property. It's just the same as owning a car, owning a building, owning jewelry, own, owning cash. It's the same value in fact it's much higher than in value in some cases okay. what is the key for world transformation in my colleagues um journey it is about a deep technology about material science and then it transcends into design innovation due to its unique aesthetic creative product forms. After winning awards, <clears throat> I have the malasakit or the compassion as its advocacy. <clears throat> now I am using malasakit both as a branding and advocacy because advocacy leads your business into social enterprise. Malasakit is about equal dimension and empathy. It's like a woman having empathy. Apply to your products, to your designs, to your construction methodologies, to your operations. And for me, every time I am improving any aspect of my business operation, the more I am manifesting compassion. Compassion leads me 
to knowing myself more. And when I have compassion, it leads me to unleashing the art in all of my product forms. There are many ways to exhaust the technology and many ways to collaborate in building culture. My story is half done. And of course, I will not let go of this lifetime without completing or fulfilling or finishing my story because that is the only way I can fulfill a legacy. I want to be part of the innovative and disruptive solution in delivering decent dwellings around the world, solving the worsening housing gap while empowering women. How do you know if a technology is impactful? Check the social, uh, the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Paul Light is championing, or I am championing, on industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Build resilient infrastructure with the use of innovative construction materials. Scientific research is the backbone of the technological innovation of the company. Innovation is an ongoing endeavor, such as continuous exploration of raw materials or new product designs to be competitive both in the local and international market. Innovation is meant to replace 60% of conventional materials into engineered materials, promote inclusive, sustainable industrialization, as Paul Light will enliven the dying local manufacturing industry of construction materials in the Philippines. We want to be globally competitive and Polite is making impact in industries, namely construction, manufacturing, and the creative arts. It is also has high impact on SDG 8, inclusive economic growth through productive employment and decent work. SDG 11, to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient, sustainable, Polite can be best used for disaster striking communities or places devastated by war. It is also affecting, impacting SDG 12. Ensure sustainable consumption and production pattern by utilizing natural and abundantly available non-extractive raw materials. It impacts the following SDG. SDG number one, Polite is a frontliner in housing initiatives, giving solutions that are affordable with structural and aesthetic integrity, ending poverty in all forms starts with the decent house. SDG 10, reduce inequality within and among countries by open innovation and being a good niche in the global market. SDG 13, Take urgent action to combat climate change because Polite is cementless and are created using lesser complex machines that does not need heating. SDG number seven, strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership to establishing a holistic ecosystem of stakeholders in the innovation process, such as include inclusion of the government sector, shelter agencies, design experts, green organizations, and the community because Polite believes in the power of collaboration for greater social and economic impact, making positive impact on SDG 4 or quality education. There are more than 1,000 professionals and skilled workers, whether they are full-time project-based or lecture attendees, and you are adding to that are exposed on how research and innovation are integral part of the daily activities in design, manufacturing, and construction work, especially in the role of creative industries, revolutionizing science-based technologies or vice versa. And of course, SDG number five, on gender equality. Pauline aimed at crafting signature designs embedded or overlaid on Pauline Ecocouture panel wall as an output of self-expression of women who are oppressed, abused, discriminated, 
making women part of the authentic cultural change and that women will be part of the feminine genius group. So I would like to leave or end this session with this very important words from Maltechu. And I heard it from my previous mentor. It says, let a thousand flowers bloom. All these flowers have equal share of the sunlight, have equal share of the rainfall. In other words, some flowers were bloom, some will not, but we do hope that we can, women can help the whole world by making other people bloom as beautiful as a flower. Thank you very much to all of you. I have